Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna be explaining what are and how to use chat flows in HubSpot CRM. So as you log into HubSpot CRM, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to use chat flows, what we need to do is go to conversations up the top left hand corner here, use the drop down menu, and then go to chat flows. Now, as you can see here, we're on the chat flows page and I'll briefly explain what chat flows are. I'm sure you're all familiar with them. Anytime you've been on a website and you get the pop up um, tab in the bottom right hand corner usually, and it's like a conversation chat, and that is essentially what a chat flow is. You can even see it on the HubSpot page itself. Down here, you see the chat button and you get the pop up box option here that is exactly the same essentially it allows us to have a conversation with the customer or engage with the customer if they have any questions which you could then go ahead in the future get an email from perhaps or communicate back to so you create the chat flow and you script the chat flow and then you can embed that onto your website or onto your Facebook Messenger. It's entirely up to you it's a really useful tool and it's really conveniently done with HubSpot. So in order to create a chat flow, what you need to do is press the create chat flow button up the top right hand corner here. And you need to select whether you'd like to create this chat flow for Facebook Messenger or the website. It's identical which one you choose. I'm just going to use the website as our example. So I press that. And then on the left hand side here, we can decide what we'd like to do live chat or bots, or we can start from scratch. If it's a live chat, of course, it would be a live chat instant communication um, or you can have the bots that essentially are having like an automated conversation that you can pre-create um, and pre-plan. So I'm going to do the, uh, the start from scratch option down here. As you can see, there are a few locked options. This is the free version of HubSpot, but if you are using the paid version, you have access to those. And again, they're also really useful, but you get enough from the free one. So I press start from scratch and then just press the next button. Then you need to select the inbox that the chats will appear in. So obviously just select your normal inbox and then select a language. Of course, mine's going to be English and then just press the create button. So once you've done that, we can then create a flow essentially. So this is where we start creating our conversations and we get the example bot message. Um, and this is what's gonna, once, as you can see here, once a visitor opens the chat, you'll see this message start out for with a greeting. Hi there, how can I help you today? And then you can say you've got a number of different options here. So give it the name, the message that they appear, your visitor's response, uh, quick replies, start typing at, to add quick replies or and then you can save HubSpot property or do not save to property. That's entirely up to you. If they're given a name, for example, you can save their contact name, etc. And then we want to go ahead and create our flow. So if we press the plus button, we can then send simple messages, ask questions, offer email subscriptions, loads of different pieces that we can add to our chat that they can then fill in and become immersed in the conversation in order to either get data or have a live conversation with someone. It's really good option, really, really useful. Um, there are loads of different options here. I'm not gonna go through them all as they are very obvious. Um, if you wanna send a simple message, if then branch, offer email subscription, it's very easy to just set up. Once you've done that and once you've created your chat flow, of course, these will end up being very long winded as well. And you can then choose conversations will be closed unless you send to a team member and you can set this up if you'd like to as well. And then you can assign it to a particular user. So if I call this test um, and then you can assign it to someone else on the HubSpot system and manage notifications accordingly. So I'm not going to do that. And then if you want to continue creating your chat flow, you then need to go to target. So you need to define when the website URL or when the, when the chat will be shown. So you can decide essentially which page it was going to be on. So when website URL is all pages is equal to www.crmcrew slash services. Um, this is where you can start defining and create exclusion rules, etc. to essentially just decide where you want to put the chat, put the chat flow. And then you can again set visitor information and behavior, have more control over who sees your chat flow by adding rules based on your visitor's identity or behavior. So when select filter visitor is a contact, do not, I suppose, or do show the chat flow. Again, this is all entirely up to you. Work through it. Um, I'm just going to change that to is all pages. Uh, work through it and make decisions what's um, 
applicable to your business and what you're trying to achieve. So I'm gonna then head over to the display at the top here. And then this is where you can select, choose an, uh, an app, uh, the chat avatar, and, and you can up change photo and the chat heading and display behavior as well. Pop up when the welcome message is a prompt, only show the chat launcher. So you've got a load of different options here. Um, you can time page in seconds, a percentage of the page scrolled, so when you want it to appear. So if they've appeared, if they've seen 50% of the page, then you want to add a chat bot. Look, this is, these are really useful tools. Feel free to work through it all. It is really simple uh, and, and makes a lot of sense. And you can set this for desktop and mobile. So only show the chat launcher, pop up when the welcome message as a prompt. Loads of different options here. And then finally, if you go to the options tab at the top, once you're happy with all those settings, you've got typing delay between messages, um, you can you can session timeout settings as well. Uh, again, loads of options, language, availability only during business hours that you then set, um, consent cookies, consent to process data, uh, and things like that. And once you are happy, and once you've gone over everything, all you need to do is just press the tick button up here, and that will slide and essentially enable the chat flow, and then copy the tracking code, as you can see, this is now going to open a new page. Uh, copy the tracking code, and then you can embed this into your website. Now I'm going to head back to that previous page, uh, exit out, and then just go back to chat flows. And as you can see here, we've now got our created chat flow. Um, we can give it a new name if we'd like to. Just select the edit button, rename it, or you can do that when you're on here initially. I did forget to mention that. Um, if we go back to chat flows again, you can then see the other options. You can edit, details, more, clone, delete, or go to inbox settings. And you can decide whether you'd like it on or off. And that is essentially what are and how to use chat flows in HubSpot CRM. I hope this video has clearly explained what are and how to use chat flows in HubSpot CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.